Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEBS home school this is Shahjah the actor assistant teacher of science of national real english version school digit today i am going to take us um, science elementary science class for class five students my dear students our today's topic chapter 3 discussion part 2 our today's lecture number 10 and sw number also 10 my dear students let's start our class this is chapter 3 discussion part 2 in our previous chapter we have already discussed and uh, <coughs> the uh, we have um, in this class we will discuss the water cycle about the water cycle in our previous class we have already discussed the part 1 and in this class we will discuss part 2 so first one is uh, what is uh, water cycle after rain there is a puddle on the ground and after short time the puddle of water disappear my dear students go to next page then uh, now we will discuss about the water cycle we have already known for the from the experiment that the air has uh, air has water vapor water from earth surface mostly evaporates due to the heat of the sun and get into the air and this means the water changes its, its state from liquid to water vapor the way that water moves all around the earth as it changes its state is called water cycle my dear students this is uh, the answer of uh, this is the definition of water cycle what is water cycle the way that water moves all the around um, uh, around the earth as it it changes its state is called the water cycle state of water is always changing through this cycle water in ocean and rivers evaporates and becomes water vapor as <coughs> water vaporizes in the air it cools and condenses into tiny droplets these tiny droplets accumulate and form clouds large water droplets fall back into the earth as rainfall in arctic countries snow uh, also fall from cloud to the earth water from the rainfall either is absorbed into the ground or uh, or runs uh, off into rivers water absorbed into the ground becomes water ground and water that runs of the <laughs> of uh, into river flows to see wh uh, where it evaporates back into the air my dear students have given the picture of water cycle then <coughs> go to next page what is water pollution water pollution is the addition of harmful substances to water water pollution is harmful for living things the causes of water pollution water pollution is mainly caused by human activity my dear students this is important fill in the blanks water pollution is mainly caused by human activity water pollution caused by insect uh, insecticides in agriculture wastewater and chemicals from factories and waste and trash from household Besides bathing cattle and washing clothes in the river are or pond uh, or, uh, also caused water pollution. Now effects of water pollution. What are the effects of water pollution? Water pollution causes death of aquatic animals and disruption of water for uh, water food chains. Humans are also affected by water pollution. When they drink contaminated water, they get waterborne diseases such as diarrhea and cholera. So, my dear students, diarrhea and cholera are waterborne diseases. Now, how to prevent water pollution? We can prevent water pollution by reducing the use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers in agriculture. We should not throw chemicals and oils down the sink, drain, or the toilet. We should not throw uh, trash into ponds, rivers, lakes or seas. Picking up trash at the beach, river or canal helps, uh, helps keeping water clean. My dear students, now come to ne next topic, safe water. The safe water is necessary, to, necessary not only for plants and animals but also people to stay healthy. The safe water is uh, water that uh, will not harm people. Some fresh water is safe. Uh, to drink for people such as water from tubewell, some fresh water is not safe for people such as water from ponds and rivers. So it is important to purify water before we drink and use it for cooking. Now we will discuss about what is water purification. W water purification is a treatment of water to make it safe and acceptable for human use. My dear students, this is an uh, important short question answer. What is water purification? The following shows um, following shows the ways to get 
safe water from unsafe fresh water filtration <coughs> first one process is filtration then sedimentation and then boiling uh, and the last one is purifying water with chemicals so my dear students the following shows are the ways to get safe water from unsafe fresh water filtration filtration is the process of filtering water with filter water may be cleaned by filtration through a thin cloth or filter though we get clean water in this way it is not free from germs the filtered water needs to be boiled to make it free from germs sedimentation pour uh, water from pond or river into a pitcher and leave it for a while we will we, uh, see some particles settle in the bottom of the pitcher the water in the upper part of the pitcher is clean uh, water treatment process to uh, movement suspended particles such as mud and sand from water is called sedimentation so my dear friends this is another short question sir what is sedimentation now boiling boiling is one of good ways to make it free from germs water from um, water should be boiled in the um, in a sealed pot to, to kill the germs uh, for more than 20 minutes my dear students this is important fill in the blanks water should be boiled in a sealed pot to kill the germs for more than 20 minutes then purifying water with chemicals Sometimes due to flood or tidal bores, it is not possible to boil water. In such situation, we can purify the water by using a scant amount of some chemicals such as alum, bleaching powder and water purifying tablets. However, we should remember that arsenic contaminated water cannot be purified by these treatments. So my dear students from here, we have learned that the uh, water purifying uh, chemicals is along bleaching powder and what uh, water purifying tablet so my dear students this is the uh, ways to how uh, how can we get safe water from unsafe fresh water now come to matching here given a matching uh, box uh, this is left side and this is right side in left side there are five um, <coughs> options and in right side there are seven options my dear students now you have to match uh, with this left side with the you have to match the left side with the right side that means number one plants need water uh, and number b water plays an important role of cooling the plants number c when we eat food number d when heat is added to water and number e when water vapor is cooled and in right side option one Water helps to digest it. Number two, it condenses to form water. Number three, it is called sedimentation. Number four, it changes into water vapor. Number five, for their life. And number six, in extreme heat. And number seven, for their life. My dear students, today's SW number is 10 and <coughs> matching. That means this matching, uh, do this matching as your SW and submit it on Saturday. My dear students, I hope all of you have understood our today's topic. Uh, do the SW that is uh, that means matching and submit uh, it on Saturday. See you again in the next class. Allah Hafiz.